Hello everyone, we are here in Knoxville for the fourth race of the season here. Matthew Brown on the pole and last week's winner Stephen Wallace Jr. on his outside. As one more race before we decide ourselves a champion. Dylan Young looking to win it all. And so he just has to keep being consistent here. Matthew Brown looking for his first win. So the winner so far this season has been Dylan Young, Cody Goforth, and Stephen Wallace Jr. as the green flag is out here in Knoxville. And here comes Dylan Young in the 82 for the lead. Dylan Young leads that time by. Trying to clear the 85. Here comes Cody. Go forth two in the four. For some of these guys who are poor behind other drivers, it's really hard for them to see because of all that dust kicking up. So this definitely takes a lot of skill. Here comes Cody. Go forth going for the lead here. So he's going to try to go underneath Dylan Young. And he clears it for 82. Cody go forth to the lead. Here comes the 13. Brad Cheston really haven't talked about much about him as there are three wide right there. 46 in the middle. Zach Winkle, we're gonna ride on board with him here. As you can see, just how, how much of a tight squeeze it is. Cody go forth falling on the outside along with Dylan Young in the 82. As right now the leader is Brad Cheston in the 13. As looked like they cleared that four wide situ or three wide situation for now, but they're going back at it again. This time two teammates involved in it. Zach Winkle right there and Billy Bishop. As the 22 is going to try to make his way back to the front, will he force it three wide? He will. <laughs> Steven Wallace being aggressive here. Three wide back here also. It's 82, Dylan Young trying to come up through the middle. Whoa, and it made contact in the round. It goes to 42 and 82. Dylan Young. And who is that? Zach Winkler in the 46. And Dylan Young. And the caution is gonna be out for the first time this season. Brad Chesson is your leader in the 13. As we'll go take a look at the replay. So right here, the 85, let's see. Looks like, um, yeah, the 85 got into the wall and the 46 too. 46 goes down into the wall right there. And the 82, Jenny Young getting collected as well. Cody go forth too. Oh man, the flag man was right there too. Close call for him. And the first wreck so far this season. Another look at it here. As you see, yeah, the 46 and 58 makes contact first. Dylan Young, he goes hard into the wall. Cody will go forth, nowhere to go. So, that was your first caution. Dylan Young is trying to win the championship. Ends up going around. We'll get you back to the restart. Getting ready to go back green here. Brad Cheston Carney, your leader. The eight has retired out of the race. That is Konstantinovich. Looks like he suffered the most damage as the green flag is back out. Steven Wallace going for two in a row. But he's gonna get pressure from the, eight, the 93 and the 94. What a move right there, aggressive move. It's coming, this, coming to two to go this time by. It's go time and these guys know it. As Brad Cheston still with the lead. 
Dylan Young looks like he's going to be off pace just a little bit right there. Can anyone get past Brad Chesson? Here comes Henry Keller. Two laps to go here in Knoxville. There are a ton of fans watching here tonight. This is definitely a big race. No white flag waves. Here comes Henry Keller trying to go underneath Brad Cheston. Here comes the 85 and the 46 too. One more corner here. And I think it's going to be Henry Keller in the 94 who's going to win it at Knoxville. Great job to Henry Keller right there on scoring the win. After pulling that aggressive move to get to the front, it pays off big time. So we get you down to your full race results right here. Henry Keller is going to win here in Knoxville. Brad Chesson finishes second. Zach Winkle third. Matthew Brown fourth. Billy Bishop fifth. Cody Goforth, Stephen Wallace, Dylan Young, and, Constant uh, and Konstantinovich who ended up retiring out of the race. Congratulations to Henry Keller on winning. We'll see you next time at Eldora for the finale as we crown ourselves a Lucas Oil Sprint Car Champion. So let's get you down to victory lane.